So now we've built our kit, but we should explore mixing the kit. Doing gain on just the individual sections isn't really going to do it for us. Some people might go over to the channel strip and just plant EQs and a multipressor and a compressor and do that to tame the kit. But somebody who wants a little more control would want to load up this kit as a multi-output kit. And there we go. There's our multi-output kit. Everything still looks the same. But now we need to explore the mixer. When I open up the mixer, I have the ability to add auxiliary channel strips just by hitting this plus sign. If you saw that, this is just such a beautiful thing. As we add the channel strips, we're adding the auxiliaries that are tied to the kit, it automatically names each one. We get kick in, kick out, snare top, snare bottom, hi-hat, high tom, mid tom, low tom. We have an auxiliary channel strip that we can use. We have the two room mics. This is the mono room. This is a stereo room. Leak, tambourine, shaker, and hand claps. Now we can really mix the kit. So let's try just volume and panning. Okay, so that's just volume and panning on the drum kit, just to get them in the right place. Then, of course, if I wanted to, I could go to each individual element, such as the kick, and I can start putting processing directly on them.
So yeah, essentially this whole thing pops up as multi-output kit. And we can put processing on it, and it's a beautiful thing. The fact that it auto-names all the different pieces is really cool. Now let's go ahead and check out some of the producer kits. The producer kits are already processed by some of the best producers and engineers in the business. So let's have a quick look at how they do things.